feelings. Welcome to Fuck Your Feelings, the greatest podcast to ever exist. Mm, Man, we got a fire. This is our first, this is the first time we've ever done a weekend recording. Woo! First the first time. I feel so special. I told I told Niche, um, that's how much in Sherelle. <laughs> but I, t- I knew Nish was in town, so Nisha did. It was another comedian uh, that was in town also uh, that was supposed to be here. But anyways, I was like, that's how much I believe in her. Well, thank you. Yeah, that, I appreciate that's, that. That's good. That that's I, dope. That I said. And then Precious, I'm glad you was able to pull up because Precious, she's always been one of my favorite comedians out here. Crazy. You, you know what yeah, I'm saying? too funny. Because this is what I great. I don't know if I've seen your stand-up yet, Sherelle. Have I seen y'all? Probably not. A lot of people haven't. Oh, hilarious. It's okay. <laughs> we, we met on podcast. Let me introduce. We got we got just Niche in the building. Hey, what you camera I'm looking at? It's 32 of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that far. Look in the middle. <laughs> we this, got, oh, this is me right here? You everywhere. Okay. okay. Oh, but yeah, that, that one and that, the two oh, middle okay, ones. All right. Okay. Uh, cool. We got Precious Hall in the building. What's up, y'all? Yeah. I made it late. <laughs> Damn, I'm on my way bullshit. She was shit. She was like, I thought I was supposed to be here at 1115, y'all. She, then she was like, well, oh, she I did just... get here on time for 1115. Yes, though, exactly. So. Right, right on late. Right on late. She got here right <laughs> on late. I know. Uh, and we got Sherelle Pierce. You know, pier, pier, pier. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, man, so I wanted to say this on air. I wanted to say this on air. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the comedy store last night mm-hmm. because I knew Niche was performing. Oh, wow. And I had never seen Niche perform live. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. This is our first time meeting in person, ain't yes, it? Yes. I think we always oh, talk. This um, is beautiful. Media. So, so last night, I said I ain't never seen her perform live, but there's been a few times on this podcast where her name has come, at, come up mm-hmm. and like she's one of the top ones out mm-hmm. here, Fair. you know. Mm-hmm. And so I said, "Why? Let me go see. Let me go see mm-hmm. what all the goddamn hype is about." <laughs> I said, "Because you know, nigga, comedians be jealous. Let me, let mm-hmm. me see mm-hmm. if she's as fucking funny as <laughs> everyone <laughs> yes. is saying." Yes. When I tell you, first of all, let me preface <laughs> this too. I want to preface this that I went up last minute. I wasn't supposed to perform. Okay. I went up. Crazy as hell, too. Because that's my first time seeing you. Oh, okay, yeah. A fool. Yeah, so I went up last minute. You know what I'm saying? Had a good set. Throwing out some shit. You know what I'm saying? Went to see what the audience was going to fuck with. Had a good set. Right. (laughs) Big laughs. Niche went up. Destroyed that house. Fucking destroyed. That bitch. This bitch is hilarious. Fucking destroyed. Everybody in the fucking head. Thank you. Fucking destroyed. I said, oh, I see what the hype is about. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Every you the real time. deal. Thank the you. super deal. I see why Thank people you. be stealing her jokes. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? Oh, when damn. my shit ain't hitting, I, I I started, you know, doing a couple of niche bits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. I'm just getting it out there for oh anybody to tell her. I'm just get it out there she right now. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. shit, my shit ain't hitting. I'm going to fuck it. I'm going to do niche shit. Oh, my God. When, when, when all else fails, do just niche jokes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to I'm, I'm just the yeah, first to admit. I mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah. At least you admit in front of these niggas. Act like you wrong. <laughs> calling them out. Right, right. Ah, nigga, that's my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm the enemy. <laughs> I'm the enemy. <laughs> really? That part when the they get mad. The when, yes. I'm, no, I'm just fucking nerd, with you. No. Nisha is funny as shit. Like, Dave Hillam said on when he brought her up, it was so beautiful because he was like, People don't understand. She's the funniest female comic out here. And, you know, with females, you know, like that, we like love that. Like we don't feel a way about that. Mm -mm. We support that because we know we get, we pay homage to her for real. Like she's very, very dope. Especially I seen her the first time she come out and she bombed. And that was the first one you did uh, Sticks Room. And mm-hmm. I just like, oh, my she finna be cold, hey, she, she said, I'm going to keep you humble now. Oh, <laughs> I remember. This was the, this no, was but what was crazy about it was, but she kept it was a room back. full of my friends. So I didn't bomb because they was all laughing. But yeah. it was the whole room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the jokes wasn't shit now. That's that's the truth. But as far as bombing, I got super laughs. But they was laughing at me, oh, not gotcha. with me. Right. Gotcha. So it was a different laugh. But yeah, it but, was, it was but, a room full of my friends and family. She she told she told Chance the rapper, she said, um, I never bombed. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, she ain't never lied. I haven't though. I mean, because I consider bomb like you don't get no laughs as crickets as low laughs. But I've always gotten laughs. But that first that first set was just bullshit. They were like, oh, this bitch is drunk. And so they were just laughing because I was up there looking crazy as hell. Damn, you never bombed. Never. That's amazing. 
I I've had that. sets that I didn't I like. I, I wasn't satisfied with because the laughs wasn't where I wanted them. But as far as me going up there and not getting no laughs ever, no, that's never happened. Man, I done bombed my ass off. Man. Shit, me too. It hurt so bad. If we're resting, handed like, my life. A nigga, boy, that's it. Like, handed uh, my life. I got booed yeah. before though, so shit, yeah. that should count. I got booed I mean, at Grambling. I mean, that counts. <laughs> boo, that don't count. Wait a minute, HBCU <laughs> booing. No. They go a there boo, to boo. A boo is worse than the bomb because they like boo. Like, bitch. So yeah, I definitely got booed. So. <laughs> That shit, boo. That hurt. That shit hurt bad, fool. That I shit would rather be. have the crickets. Then get booed. That must have been Man, a high now, school. They both hurt equally. <laughs> right. yeah, you you right. boo me, young man, because you really opened your mouth to do something but not laugh. Yeah. Nigga, no, you that's... quiet, and my job is to make you boo laugh. the fuck out of oh, here. It's no. like, it all hurt. Where was it yeah. at? Was it a high school? Like it was Grambling. 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 Uh, oh, Steve Brown oh, Room. Oh, wow. Uh, homecoming. I was doing fine. They said some boys walked in. And they just was like, boo. And the rest of the school was like, oh, bet. And they just joined in like nah, y'all wasn't just enjoying it. I would have been like, who sent you? But that's what they. How like long to have do. you been doing stand up? Um, it made 11 years this year. Damn. Yeah, bip, bip, bip. Years. Shout out. Yeah, yeah, now, this is a question I was going to ask. No, for, before I get to the, my next question, I'm glad you brought up her introduction because I was thinking about this. For you, when he said you're the funniest female comedian out, do you say. That's cool, or are you thinking, nigga, I'm one of the funniest comedians out? Uh, I have to say comedians. <laughs> right. Yeah, because I hate when they do the female. Yeah, I don't do the I female thing right. because literally. it's like, I'm funnier than a lot of y'all niggas, too. Literally. Oh, I just was thinking no. that. That's why I laugh, like, literally. That's a fact, though, because when he said that, and after I seen her perform, Man. I said, no, 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 she's funnier than a lot of the niggas. That's what but, I'm saying. But I was telling my homeboy before you got here, that's how I judge, and I, I, I hope y'all don't take this the wrong way. I do judge a, a I do judge a female comedian how funny she is depending on if she could kill like a nigga, mm-hmm. like if you could get a certain audible decibel of laughter, mm-hmm. like the best Negro like male comedians, mm-hmm. then I'm like, oh okay, they the real deal. Yeah. That's why when I seen Precious kill like that, mm-hmm. and she was getting laughs like niggas, I said, oh okay, she got it. <laughs> and then when I seen you last night, I said, oh mm-hmm. now I knew you had it. Recently, mm-hmm. it was one of your recent selfie videos, oh. <laughs> and I think it was with the R. Kelly joke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I actually watched the <laughs> whole thing, and this was this was recent. So this is recent. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had my doubts before, but <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm joking. I never, he, he keeps saying okay, that. Right, 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 right. I mean, but 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 when I seen the video recently, I said, "Oh, she got it. Mm-hmm. She got it it. Then when I seen you last night. I said she's a goddamn star. Oh, thank y'all. She's a goddamn Yay. star. Man, so an uh, alien at, at eleven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Got uh, you, y'all. Alien. No, but that's some real shit. Thank though. y'all. I really do appreciate it. And um, I, I, I and I know a lot, a lot of funny females. That's why I hate when people be like, oh. It just ain't funny. Females only make me laugh. And it's like, you're not That's even so going true. to enough comedy shows there to you see go. who out yeah. here. You don't even know. If it ain't a uh, Instagram motherfucker with a million followers, you don't even know which female comics out here because I know plenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can name 10 off yes. top of my head that yes. you know every time. Yes. So it's just... Um, it's a stigma. I hate it, but I mean, it's it's cool. We we do what we gotta do, but yeah, my fuckers asleep. I I I love the fact that in a male dominant industry, she just knocking motherfuckers over the head. You know, it don't matter who she. In in a lineup, it'd be so crazy because like even in a like a lineup with legends, yeah, she about to go up there and tear the stage up. Yeah, you know, no, like she, she did that because I, I was thinking that last night. I was like, cause I didn't know I was going up. And so Dave was like, <laughs> Dave was a little intoxicated. <laughs> little. <laughs> Dave was a little intoxicated last night. And little. So funny. And so CT. He said a little. Yeah, yeah I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I guess, you know, you know, men have their vices uh, more than women do. And uh, I guess that's his. And so, <laughs> and so uh, CT was on stage. And then he was like, you want to go? And I was like, yeah, should I go? You know what I'm saying? But CT was on stage killing, ripping. Yeah. And so now I'm... Man, it was a dope show. It last was night. a dope show. So now I'm a little nervous because I wasn't expecting to go. In and I was like, I don't know what jokes. And I was like, I don't want to be the least funniest nigga tonight. <laughs> now um, you went up there and rip. And I appreciate it. But then when she was able to follow me and CT, mm-hmm. I said, oh, she got the goods. Mm-hmm. She got... Because, you know, because we was, we was... We were putting in... We was... Getting big laughs, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Easy work, easy time. work for her. Yeah, yeah, no, it was it was great. It was fucking great, man. Now it's something I wanted to get to. Okay, that that pressure, pressure. How do y'all feel about pressure 
of having to kill in other cities when y'all visited. So, like, for you, you come into L.A. So, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm sure you always ripping, but I was like, is there an extra bonus, like, I'm in L.A., I can't bomb in front of these comedians, or I don't want to bomb in front of these comedians. I don't know if anybody from the comedy store watching me. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So yeah. do y'all have any of that pressure when y'all going to these other cities and y'all kind of maybe doing guest spots or something like that? Like, I need to make sure I'm performing at my highest level. I think so. I think it's always that little pressure. But also when people know you funny, it's kind of just a little bit like, let me work on some new shit. Because you'd be scared to work on new shit out of town. Mm. You know, if it's like some mm-hmm. shit like I need to snap. But it's mm. like, also, these motherfuckers know I'm funny. So I almost get to that point where I'm comfortable enough to be like, just mm-hmm. fuck it and do it. But that's just yeah. now coming now, 11 mm. years. Mm-hmm. It's Thanks. Just, so if, mm. if it don't hit and then I ain't get no laughs, I think I'll be okay with that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, yeah. all right, well, fuck that's it. It, it didn't shit. work. But yeah, it, it take a lot. That's mm-hmm. real. Because at first you're like, I don't care where I'm at. I got to just go out. Now <laughs> I got to murder crazy. this bitch. I know I'm doing this, 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 and this. Yeah. But like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, mm-hmm. but even the show we just did, nigga, I'm just up there just boo, boo. Kill nigga, shit. It Precious was so crazy. fun. No, bitch, you went crazy. Went up there from the jump, and I got the video too. Um, I'm gonna send it to y'all, but yeah, it was just we had a great time. But I think too yes. from doing the open mic too, like I'm used now. I'm up here talking a lot of shit. I ain't feel like I was getting reps in the way I needed to, you know. But now it's like, nigga, I jumped off the cliff with a lot of them. I ain't even, I don't even doing this shit. <laughs> niggas yeah. been talking, but yeah. it's fun to be able to trust yourself like that. Because yes. I think in the beginning, it's fun to watch other people doing it. Like, damn, they're so thawed. And they just, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. me, I'm like, nah, I didn't. You heard I that Texas slang? Y'all heard that Texas slang? Right. Like, uh, That's yeah. so thawed. <laughs> That's Texas, right? I like that. That's so thawed. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's good. But it's good to watch. You know, like, I hadn't seen you in a while, but. To work with you and just watch it, like, nah, you really thought, fool, that shit was funny. It was good. That shit yeah, was she definitely set the tone for real. Oh yeah, yeah, it was, it was just dope. And and that's at the Ontario Improv, right? Yeah, we was mm-hmm. in. Uh-huh. Damn, Ontario. y'all, you be booking your own shows or you got an agent? I got an agent. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm like, cause I'm watching her last night. I was like, and yo, that was your first time. That's my first time mm-hmm. seeing her live, and I was like. Cause my, I be having my producer hat on. I was like, she could play my wife on my on a TV show. I know that's right. And, and not only that, I was thinking, and I would hope. This is what I would hope. Let's say we work together, mm-hmm. and you play my wife on, on 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 a TV show we did together. I would hope that they say, nigga, she funnier than Justin. Mm-hmm. Like that would be the best thing yeah. because I know that's only making the product better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. And so I was like, that's what I was thinking last night. I was like, I was like, she's short too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, she's short. I said, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I used to have a crush on Raven Simone back in the day. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Old Raven Simone. Yes. But okay. uh, but you know, even the new uh, the new shaved head Raven. I don't, I don't know about all that shit. <laughs> you liked her before you knew she was gay. I think her attitude changed a little bit. Yeah, yeah. you know, from the old Raven it to did. this Raven. Because what, what's her name that we didn't know? What's her name? Uh, no. Say Monet. What she say? It's uh, uh-uh. she said it's Raven. It's Raven. Say Monet. She just didn't want to correct nobody. What? Yeah, it's, it's not is, Simone. It's, it's not Sa- Simone. It's Sa- like Monet. Simone, but Simone. So this new Raven. I don't know if that's <laughs> true or whatever, but bitch, she weird as fuck. I'm it's sick of y'all pronunciations of these <laughs> names, God damn it! Yeah. Your name is what it say. Right. It's just a different Raven person. Simone. Nah, Raven Simone. Simone. Nah, Raven Simone. I could have. I could have had her. You I told. I told her. my. I told okay. my wife a long time ago. My wife knew she was the only chick that I would leave her for mm-hmm. because I've always had a crush on Raven Simone. Wow. Mm-hmm. When I moved out here, I did stand up at the. How high- old are you, Justin? I'm 38. You 38? Okay. Yeah. Um, like, what, what, you was six watching Cosmo? Uh, like, when did this first start? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. And I was watching fucking like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Most people think I'm like 28 or some shit like that. So, I'm at the Ha Ha. I'm performing. I'm having a good set. Mm-hmm. I hear laughing in the audience. Mm-hmm. I said, Raven? She's like, that's me. Right? I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. So we go out in the lobby. I'm thinking, damn, I'm gonna have to call my wife. Like, uh, oh, no. I ain't never coming home. I ain't never coming home. Oh, no, hey, I, I was gonna hit her with the uh, what? put your mama on the phone. Put your mama on the Harlem oh, yeah. Nights. The Harlem Nights. I was about to hit her with the Harlem Nights. Like, hey, listen, I I, I ain't gonna be able to come. Damn so, it. So we talking and we like we kind of flirt a little flirtation a little bit, like vibe, little vibe, yeah, yeah, little vibe, yeah, 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 little vibe. Yeah, little something. Someone wanted a picture with her, and she turned around to take the picture. I saw she didn't have no ass. And that killed it? It killed that it. That was it. That was it. Wow. Yeah. From no. all the acting, from all the good times yeah. you watched her, and from all the land, and yeah. she had a live show. Mm-hmm. 
And but did you ever think she really had an ass? Like, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know until you seen it in you person. You watched that so raven, nigga. Where did you like her from? Right. I, the Cosby Show. Oh, she was Cause little. Because we the same no. age. Me and Raven the same age. Yeah. So when she was really? on the Cosby Show, I'm watching the Cosby Show. Yeah. She had to follow. We had to follow her whole acting journey. Yeah, and then yeah. wait a minute. So raven, you would have saw she ain't had no ass in see, high school. I, see, I fell off on that. So raven. Yeah, so a lot of ass shots on that. Cosby you Show. Lost your wife. Wow. <laughs> so Nisha's your just. Uh, Raven Simone with ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, so it. You see what I'm saying? It. You see what I'm saying? Got it. Living out my fantasy. All right. TV Living it. Oh, got it. TV wife. TV wife. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wife, so oh, um, yeah, what's it to God say? It. A, a chubby yeah. light skin, girl. chubby Last light night. skin. What's Dave Hillam say? said, Tell us, chubby. <laughs> yes, and I was gonna say, Yeah, it was, it was a good night. Oh, yeah. my God. Hanging, with, hanging with Mr. Cooper, that's when she started developing. Oh, Raven yeah, Simone. She was, she was on there. She was on Hanging with Mr. Cooper. That. And no. I, love, I always watch Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Who right. is she? Right. She was like, Um, Somebody child or some so shit. So she couldn't have been the main person. No, yeah, I, I, think I, I never seen her. Hold on, let me let me she double check. I could be wrong she and shit. Make shit up now. Hanging with. Right. <laughs> I, used to watch I, mean, I know Cooper. hanging with Mr. Cooper. Right. Hold on. Right. It was the, it was like three. It was Holly P. Robinson. Right? Yeah, the two women and him. Who who this is on the picture though? Oh goddamn. Who that is on the picture that though? Is right. So what part character? What character? She was like a kid on there. I don't know. This nigga loved her as a kid, nigga. He loved her as a kid. <laughs> I sound creepy as shit. Adult. We the same age. <laughs> I cannot. We, we was kids. We was right. kids. Did Dr. Doolittle? We was a kid, though. Oh, Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle. So yeah, I had a cra- I had a thing for Raven okay. Simone. Anyways, okay. whatever. Y'all ain't gonna fucking well, no, she was Raven not, she shame was, me. She was definitely the it girl for our age. No, for we, real, we the same the age. Shit. So Raven Simone, I think everybody was like, yeah, that's yeah. how that's how bitch. We, we grew up with Raven. Yeah. She started acting weird. So yeah, let me ask y'all a question, okay? Because y'all are all funny, funny women. Y'all got kids? Any of y'all got kids? Fuck them kids. Yeah. You got yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have one son. Okay, you got a son. You got a kid. Yeah. Okay. All right, never mind. So forget <laughs> yeah, that. But, yeah. But hey, I just ain't got no kids. You can ask me. Uh, what <laughs> yeah, do you do? Though. You feel what do you feel like? You hold. Do you feel like uh, a kid will slow you down in your career? Is that part of the hesitation why you don't have kids? Uh yes, it's part of it because nigga, I slow me down. <laughs> okay, okay. No Imagine a whole that. nother okay. human, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that I gotta ah! feed and help and do all this. And get, to the, and to, and get to the podcast by ten fifty. Are you nigga. kidding me? And I gotta oh. abandon this little motherfucker and right. be out here kicking oh it. My God. I gotta put all that pressure on everybody. Nah, I feel right. like I did the best thing. You know, I thought when I got older for real, I feel like this fucked up pressure. You should have had one of them, but God <laughs> got them. Oh, <laughs> not one of them. God got them, them kids. You gonna see them in heaven. They are good. What I'm mad at is bullshit ass dead be baby mamas. Why did you have them? And then you didn't want them. Facts. Now I'm over here with this little motherfucker. It's not okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep yeah. your kids. Yeah. Do what if I did. you have it. Yeah. So No, that shit is pressure though. I mean, you know. But that, but I really didn't want, like, I really be looking at patterns, you know, like, you have niggas, you see the pattern, like, okay, he already got a little boy and a girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you so not want him at all? Or just I don't. Him? Like, oh, damn. See, I, don't. I, like, I mean, that's the real shit because. I have them, but I don't want them. She, she right. already know, you know what I'm saying? She knows. Just think if you have children and you don't have this mindset, like, I know I'm fucked up, so why would I have some fucking kids right yeah. now? Mm-hmm. And then you have these but little so motherfuckers. Do that, and and you, they oh, don't I'm really some I'm some I'm that person. It's me. I'm a watch. I watch my kids, and I be like, at first I used to get mad, like, what the fuck is this motherfucker so stupid like that? Mm. Then I like, oh shit, I I had this little motherfucker right here. I raised it and I had it. I said, okay, I got it. My auntie, my auntie said this to my daddy a long time ago. She said when it refers, she said, you get to enjoy what you raised. Damn. Ooh, for better or for worse. That's you deep. know, that's deep. And you really don't know. Like, kids like rolling you, the dice. You hey. can be a great parent and they'll still turn out not shit. That's a fact, too. You can be a not shit parent and inspire them to be better. Yeah. Like, you don't know what it's, it's going to be it's ever. A, it's so much you drugs know? out here. Oh, my God. It's heavy. Yeah, so it is. Drug. It's so, that'd be my <laughs> thing. Cause, oh, I'm listening to what? No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so much drugs out here. Yes, it is. If you don't know which one they're going to be on, they're going to be on something. Damn. I guarantee you, fool. God, well, see, I'm nervous damn. because my daughter, 10. And she got a tablet, and 
know what she looking. That's know a she drug. Look, she don't know. It, it is a that drug, is but a you drug. don't know what she looking at. Yes. Now I know she hasn't seen anything yet because she started asking about how babies are born. Okay. She's like, I heard we gotta oh, learn how babies snap. are born mm-hmm. this year. Like the fifth grader said, you know, fifth graders when you learn oh, how babies no. are born. I was like, oh, man. I told my daughter, I said, listen, the best thing I said, one of the best things that I love about you is that you still have your innocence. Mm -hmm. I say, try to hold on to that as long as you can. I said, because once it's gone, it's gone forever. I wish I, let me tell you how smart she is though. I said, I wish I still had my innocence. She said, but if you still had your innocence, I wouldn't be here. Like, so damn. she knows okay. you got to do the nasty. Damn. She knows something. Damn. She knows something. Yeah, she knows something. That's, that's crazy. A, yeah, those tablets, uh, internet that. is an addiction for, you know, like these and kids. And they can get in everything. And and they they can't just got to click, click a thing. You 18 or older. Oh, yeah, I'm 18. Yes. What the fuck? So, I yes. was so shocked that you really could just search Pornhub and it come right up. Mm-hmm. All the videos. Yeah, like, I know. I did it yesterday. It's not look. Me too. Mm-hmm. I was just like, damn, this is wow. But can't y'all do put something on y'all kids' thing? To, like, but it's you can so monitor many like what they um watching it's or like so what they look up things. or something. Can you y'all put some something? restrictions you on can. it? But them motherfuckers be in a whole new fucking site that we don't even know about. They didn't create it. They own. They sites. have some shit out here. <laughs> I'm like, oh, duly noted. X X X. Right. But even Instagram. So like, think about this. Like, who they following on Instagram? Like, what do they follow? Like, I one of my um. Yeah. Yeah, I know a, I know a lady, her daughter just started following me, or she's been following me on Instagram. I be posting some wild shit mm, on my Instagram, like yeah. those reaction videos, whatever the fuck I'm saying, I'm talking like this, and I'm like, yo, kid is watching this. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about, there might be a post where I'm talking about dick and pussy, and your 12-year-old, 13-year-old mm. is watching this. Yeah. So even if it ain't like full pornography, it's like they're still getting like that type of stuff in yeah, in, in, it's, it's in too old for them to yeah, be taken in. My children wasn't allowed to do uh, watch even television. Oh, they damn. just couldn't do. Oh, you, you're just wait, a mean mom. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, if they even did, after um, homework, man, no, like, on weekends <laughs> they we on weekends they watch like, constructive we the stuff, you know, Friday, learning nigga, stuff. Like I had them on that, like, but oh. television mm-mm, was the daddy around. Yeah, but they just couldn't did he, watch. Did he live with you? No. I, okay, yeah, because that no. sound like some fuck. I'm doing show. That sound like like I'm not getting no other uh, feedback or perspective on mm-hmm. why TV I could mean, be. It was just so much stuff that I would I would see that had subliminal messages in there, and I knew it was programming their minds, mm-hmm. and it was just like it's too much. So just no no TV. Yeah, damn. Damn. damn, I bet that's how they do now, huh? How old are they? No, they no. read a lot of books. Okay, oh, well, that's yeah, they're they little nasty books. books. They just read them fucking them nasty books. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. my god, the same book right now. And then Stephen, but Tate. they, you know what? But it, <laughs> uh, it also <laughs> did some reading. They got smart on my ass because one of my daughters, she was fourteen at the time, and I, you know, they, you know, I follow on my taxes. And I couldn't, she wanted something and I just couldn't get it for her. And she was like, don't you file me on your taxes? Because it says if I'm a dependent and I'm just like about to put her head all between yeah. the washer and the dryer. Shouldn't have been like, letting the wash duck tail and shit. Where you get that knowledge from? And she she had an IRS <laughs> encyclopedia. Exactly. I was like, where the fucking... fuck you get this? Well. And my do- other daughter was like, oh, she been reading your textbooks. I said, yeah. That's, well, see, if that's you, what if, I wanted if, to learn. If you would let her watch <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks. She wouldn't have known all that shit. Oh my <laughs> God, it was terrible for her. <laughs> it was terrible for her. Oh my God. Well, I mean, this this was the point that I was the the other point I was gonna get to is do y'all because you was talking about dating, mm-hmm. right? And I was thinking like, is it hard for y'all to keep a man because y'all so funny and y'all could like see the bullshit? Um. <laughs> <laughs> My man, my man. My man, my man. <laughs> well, I don't think it was hard to keep a man because I was so funny, but it definitely was hard to keep one because of the lifestyle we have to live. So, that part. Yeah, it's a lot. And and I found this out with with the, with the uh, my boyfriend now. So for people like your flaws, our career is a flaw. Mm. Like, Ooh. niggas don't want the girl out on the street all the time, mm-hmm. late at night. Like, we have to, like, it is a flaw. Like, Man, so we can't get facts. around that. So, you really have to be with somebody that's yes. really secure with what you do. Because, mm. a- as a man, like, when you think about what men want and they women, it's like total opposite. Oh, so ooh, I had to look at it like ooh. that. Like, damn, 
them and that not shit get real it though. Because we yeah. so used to just saying what they are, what they do, what they mm-hmm. what's wrong with them. Yeah. But then when you gotta look at yourself, like, oh yeah. shit, would you want that? Would like you somebody want that? million motherfuckers commenting on they shit, Man. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Flirting, bitch, Man. they outside Out, four, five, male the dominated week, industry. Late, on the road, you know, yeah. gone, like, like would you really want that? Drinking, drink Man. like it's just it's a lot. It's a it's a lot to deal with. Damn. And so I didn't never look at it like that because I was like, I'm dope. You know, motherfuckers be lucky to get me. And it's like, yeah, you dope and all, but look what you're doing. It's too much. It's too much. And motherfuckers got to understand that when it's too much, it's too much. And I I appreciate the ones that were able to be like, yeah, I really can't do this Mm -hmm. because, you know. Yeah. They want to take it back to the traditional way where you just in the house looking popped as fuck and ain't on shit. Well, yeah, like just regular Regular nine to five. You know. What's what's popped as fuck? What that mean? You just you, you just oh. don't you got a hole in your <laughs> gown and shit. That's Chicago. <laughs> throw got a pop. Hole. Well, we you, got some motion. Right. Right. All the motherfucking <laughs> lingo coming yeah. out of the day. <laughs> right. Throw pop. Not. And they just and like, I what? think a lot of men like they like women who just shut up and don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. just let them run shit. Oh, and we and have like, mouthpieces. I want you to run it for sure. Yeah. You the leader for sure. But I'm a person, fool. Yeah. Like if I got something to say, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna sit here Damn. and be quiet. Like yeah. because but not to be like nerve wracking and nothing, just in real life. Just like my opinion life. matters. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, and that's some true shit. Cause even right. if, if, me as a man, that's something I had to learn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. on some real shit, like have to take like accountability and, and have to be like how like yeah she do have an opinion yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It, ain't, it ain't my way or the highway yes. you know she yes. got feelings even yes. though the podcast called fuck your feelings yeah. i'm like she got feelings and i gotta i gotta not only hear her but receive what she's saying yes. and don't just dismiss it right yeah you know? yes because that's what a real yeah. relationship is it's not like i'm not bowing down to you you're not bowing down to me but i we care about each other enough that if that really bothers you and yeah. I can't make that change. You know what I'm saying? If this bothers me enough, you need to make me comfortable <laughs> yeah. for, for yeah. real. Because that's, that's important that's enough a, to, to that, work on. Yeah, and be it, it, let me tell you, but here. here's the thing, too. It's all about our deliverance because I realize that we, the way we, our posture, you know what I'm saying? And Precious got guns. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Wait a minute. You talk about arms or you talk about real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She'll she beat your ass. Oh, no. Like, but, Precious you know, will beat your like ass. She, like, she can say something and it'll come off like, the fuck? And you I think? hate and that too, like, y'all, because like I'm this. really nice. But, like, I'm really. <laughs> you are. She's I'm a really sweetheart. I'm but, a sweet and, and I got soft feelings and everything. But yeah. What's your band? Virgo. You're Virgo. Oh, when your birthday? 9, 12. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really, nigga, I'm soft hearted. And I be nice. <laughs> really, nigga, I'm soft in the motherfucker. Hey, exactly. Fuck, like, fuck you mean? <laughs> so I be with, but, but you are right because you be like, say, and not, you really have to adjust your shit. You know what I'm saying? And some but shit. But I like, go through I'm it like, too. And I'm, I'm little. Being. I'm short, mm-hmm. and I go through it too. Like one guy told me I was very aggressive, and I'm like, how the fuck am I aggressive when I'm just saying, hey, baby, what's up? <laughs> wow. Uh, Shorty, Shorty with the cat. <laughs> about to say nothing would have made my dick no. go soft. Shorty with a true religious on. <laughs> hey, baby, what's up? <laughs> hey, Shorty with a. <laughs> That's but how, I know I am aggressive. I am aggressive. It was just me and yeah, my brother. It ain't yeah. like I had no sisters or nothing around to be like, ooh, be like yeah, this girl. You, you, a lot of, you have a lot of brothers, right? I have one. Oh, they say you, been, you Wait, grew up you around got... a lot of guys. Yeah, <laughs> I did, but it's still one brother. You okay. Know, but they, <laughs> it wasn't like that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah. no, but like... um. So I know I, I do come off aggressive because everything, you know, when you're around, that's who you're around. That's what you like. Your brother teach you how to do everything. Uh, yeah, you know? that's true. Fight, yeah. spit, yeah. hit. Like yeah, everything. and that's so me. Um, but that's you know, but, but something I had to explain, I mean, my, my mom taught me this, and it's something I had to do within my marriage, and, which is it's not always what you say, but how you say it. Exactly. Yeah. And that shit is real. Yes. Because sometimes yeah. there's a tone Yes. yes. There's a certain mm-hmm. octave. Yes. yes. You know, you're like, I, I ain't, I ain't, man, we ain't arguing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, I ain't yeah. 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 Right. You know, but again, it's still up to the other person to know how to react to that energy. Uh, how to receive it, too. Yeah. Because you know, it could go, you yeah. know, like, that's why I try to stay calm because I know where stuff can go. Ooh, and it's like, man. I'm going to feel bad after this yes. happens. So I don't want it to yes. go. Yes. So I will, nigga, I will be calm. I'm being calm. I just, I'm very expressive. <laughs> so my hands move. And I, I talk loud naturally, but I'm not being like this. I'll slide up on you, like, yeah, you know, what's the blame real smooth? Like, cause slide up in there. What like. I did have to realize is, like, we do talk a lot of shit on stage and stuff, but then when I really started getting older, I'm like, wait a minute, Precious, you do talk a lot of shit, but you, you don't want to die alone. Like, you know 
what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, you don't want to really be out here like savage for life, bitch. Like, you know, like your mom and dad is still together. Nigga, your brother got a wife. You got a niece and nephew. Like, ultimately, yeah, I want somebody to love me. I want the kids, but yeah, of course I want to talk about my day with somebody. I want somebody to give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how I am. I'm I'm actually reading books to show me how to have a different approach with these brothers out here. King, hey, King. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm reading books like this. That's right. You know, Grand Rise of King Rise all the way up, you know? Uh, I read the books like all the way up. I read the books like Men Heal Thyself, you know, because I want to have a different approach. I want to have a more sensitive approach with the brothers. Because I grew up around a lot of guys. Mm -hmm. Brothers, you know, I'm the only girl, and you know, we I watch my uncles were pimps, my granddaddy yeah, drug dealer. Like it, <laughs> it, 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 it this was and we grew I grew up around but this yeah. and and you were taught how to Some, you know yeah, you had to be like that. Be not a punk. <laughs> yeah, a, and you're a female, you know, so you can so I've seen it all and and I just want to have a different approach so I can meet that one. And I know I'm, it's going to take me being so submissive where I, I got to, like, bite my tongue because I know I back. I, have to do. But I'm saying, like, I'm the type of person I used to be like, nigga, fuck you. But you and are, then make sure you get 20 to the head, no cover up. I don't want to be that person. I'm mean, not what's, hurting what's no What's that? Mind. What you mean, 20 to the head, no cover? That means being beat? That's a violation. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Sherelle do is a, a, a game banger, so it's going to be a lot of game banger. Tree hugger. And that's why her, <laughs> her feminist ad can't come through because she's a GD. And <laughs> right. I'm like, God damn. I'm like, wait a minute. I just saw yeah. some spiritual yeah. shit online. <laughs> and she was talking putting niggas yeah, in the ground. Nigga, wait a minute. It's I'm a game good. banger. But I should yeah. shut up. She's talking about some hugging trees. But I think, no, but you do have to find that balance because, you know, you you got to be able to speak your shit without, like, I'm not going to walk on eggshells around this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I don't want you to, you know, because then we both making ourselves miserable. So yes. you got to be able to get your shit off without. Um, Communicate well, yeah, without anything, taking offense yes, too, because that's the thing. Sometimes yes. we take offense to things, and they really just telling you how they feel, and we have to respect that. Because, Bitch, I would throw a nigga away know, for his feelings. Quit yeah, making the like, like, oh yeah, have to, fuck you then. <laughs> with with that. Nish, I I see her so calm. Like mm -hmm. Nish have seen me back and forth. Like I don't give a fuck about this, and she just Sherelle like, is volatile. I don't. I know. don't. I've never Nish, been like Nish, that. Nish was like, <laughs> you know, a friend. Yeah, that's too much. You know, <laughs> but still, even. Her attitude, I guys don't, you know, they feel a way about that too because Nisha ain't, she not, not about to argue, not, she not about to do all that. That's good. And the guy be like, damn, this motherfucker, because they be you wanting that right like, now. When you it do makes that it seem like she don't give a shit. fuck. Yeah, if they used to toxic shit. shit. And they don't yeah. like when you call yeah. them just throw their ass away or block oh, their dumb yes. stupid slow That's ass. That's what I get now. <laughs> they don't That's like what that. I get now. Oh, they hate you for that, bitch. Yes. They, they trying to get their leg they back. They so mad. I just I just left quietly, fool. Because yes. you have wrecked my nerve to the point. <laughs> you yes. know what I, mean? I have been dumb for so long. I'm going to just, you know, bow out. That's <laughs> it. Stop poking at me. Yeah. So me Stop don't poking do at me. Please no don't. But no, it ain't cool to be know, I like cool. to talk. We could talk. And right. Listen, but I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah. About. <laughs> Let me just get it. I don't it. know yeah. how you could do that, friend. I mean. Sherelle be like, because what I told the bitch. <laughs> I'm like, God hey, damn, Sherelle, I'm doing a voiceover. Could you close your door, please? Straight up. God damn, I got I, this, I gotta do this fashion hall voiceover because you shut the fuck me up. to go in my room and close my door. She's oh, like, that's hilarious. Go in your room and close all three of your doors. Please. Yeah, she got three doors. Please like close all three of them. I can do this voiceover. <laughs> oh. What? What? How long you been out here, Sherelle? Four years. Okay, four. Years. Now, did you? And you, was, you came from Chicago. Yeah, right before the pandemic. Damn. Oh, my God, it was terrible. We didn't even know that was when you came out here. It was like what? How many months before the pandemic? I feel like okay, we moved out here that September the so eleventh. I feel like it started in October because we because we actually got a call from uh, one of the uh, people from the radio stations. They was in Dubai in October, and she said, "Listen, she said I don't know what's going on, but you guys about to get ready. They carrying cases of masks." water you know it's something about to hit the states Damn. and that's when everybody and that was, was in saying they was getting it before you know yes. how you didn't, we didn't know what it was yeah. but we yes. Yes. yes it was so many bitch, people yes it. and i was throwing i'm like bitch i know what, you, what when uh, not again uh, uh, right. was not not again. 2019 <laughs> she's so crazy <laughs> no but the Ooh. 2020 is when we shut down right around yeah. february 2019 March. people yeah. was getting sick but they were right before because did you now did you move out here do you feel like you need to be in la to make it what y'all think 
I don't. I feel I, like I need 10 million followers on Instagram. I, 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 listen, <laughs> because that's all be people care anywhere. about now. But yeah, you can really You can be in your living internet. room and make it, okay? Mm-hmm. But me, it was bigger than just that. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm grateful for the connects and being right there when they need you. You right there. Yeah. You don't have to be, you know, get flued out. But <laughs> um, I, I, it's the nature for me. You know what I'm saying? We had that one winter that was disrespectful as hell in Chicago. It was negative 18 <laughs> degrees, mm-hmm. bitch, and I could wow. not even see, okay? It was hurting so bad. I said, I'm done. And I'm so out here just to see how God carved this place out, mountains, trees, everything like that. Even sink this bitch, too. You know, <laughs> right. just, you know, I'm so Y'all had enough fun, L.A. Get the I'm fuck so out of here. Grateful. You know, I'm so grateful totally to be closer right. to the sun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I wasn't fucking with It was tripping just not too long ago when we had that hurricane and that earthquake. Like, California was tripping, tripping. But other than that shit, I was good. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel the same way. Like, if, if we had more comedy clubs in – Tampa Bay area, you would go back. I go back yeah. at this point mm-hmm. because yeah, it's just like. <laughs> but see, you good because in Chicago, y'all got a great comedy scene, mm-hmm. so y'all could have y'all could hit a bunch of different stages and shit like that. In Tampa Bay, it's like maybe three fucking spots, and and two of them trash. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, that's why I still come out here, you know, because I be I'm bi coastal. Yeah. And um, but yeah, man. So and you got your balance. You know what I'm saying? You married, so it's it's good. Like a single, especially a single woman, being out here, we, you know, you need that balance. You need that that yin and that yang and the testosterone and the estrogen because out here I noticed that you really have to stay focus you have to stay grounded and balanced because if it if you don't this place will eat your ass alive it sure will Boy, it yeah. will fuck you up eat you alive. Uh, mentally you physically <laughs> spiritually <laughs> financially um, about 12 about 12 yeah yeah i've been out here 16 damn yeah yeah because yeah. we, we goons yeah, yeah. but and it, it was yeah, good the good the good thing is it, and this see i moved out here before social media started popping too mm-hmm. so it's like you had to be out here yeah. like you said the the network rub shoulders yeah yes. now you just one you're dm so right away there. You're so right. Right there. yeah but now it's like you could literally just slide in somebody dm if you popping enough or if they think you funny enough or whatever the fuck and you could still network that way yeah, yeah. yeah. so it just ain't it ain't it's really where you want to be you yeah. know or what's best for you and your yeah. like yeah, yeah. I like visiting home and getting back away from that motherfucker. Know you know too. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now I miss my people, but mm-hmm. and even after I chill with them about a week, all right, child. I ain't y'all. Same <laughs> way. I can't even stay mm-hmm. home too long. I be like, I gotta get the fuck yeah. up out of here. Come in and be a good auntie for a couple of seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you now, get back out of town. Now this this something we we discussed uh, real quickly before the podcast, but I did have it in my notes, which is. Do y'all have side hustles or have you had side hustles while you're pursuing the comedy dream? Yes. Mm-hmm. Keep the side hustle. Uh, <laughs> Can y'all the, speak on it? Right. All y'all got yes. quiet like, all, like all three of y'all were doing some shit y'all ain't supposed to be we doing. We do. Well, let me see what we can speak on. Okay, yes, you know how you do Next the Next question. Okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You know, you make money off the ass of the podcast <laughs> right. and then some other shit. But you know what well, we can speak. Of. But the point is, the like, fuck? I'm telling you, like, <laughs> I'm still the same person. Like, we cool. Everything. Look, I ain't missing no licks, though. Uh, uh, <laughs> Whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know. at me for I don't be tripping. Like, oh, my God. But I know people be wondering that because if you don't, you know. Wait a minute. All three of y'all got quiet at the same time, though. I was like, what the fuck? What's the snowfall shit going on? <laughs> Oh my God! We, I su- got, we support all I, extracurricular I activities. I mm-hmm. did. I'd have been everything out here. I, I'd have been a motherfucker, motherfucker masseuse. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, Let's speak on this I'm masseuse. I'm a licensed notary. Okay, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm everything. I'm yes. tax preparer. I am every motherfucking thing out Real here. I'm a dancer. I, man, <laughs> listen, you gotta be whatever you could be. I'm. They say this is a big rich town. No, I gotta make it. Like, I, I don't give a fuck. I got caught up. Um, for real, I know I've been told about the jobs and shit. Casino, and I had took a tip. You know what I'm saying? And so they caught me on camera or whatever. But I took way more than that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, damn that part. 
Anyway, uh, Dang, y'all can't take tips, girl. And they tried to deny me my motherfucking unemployment, so I appealed it. And I go, y'all, God love me that much. I got it. I told the truth. Yes. I was like, they like, so you accept that? You know you weren't supposed to. I'm like, I know I'm not, but I'm out here by myself in California. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I tried to make seem like, but I need that money. Fool, I'm not gonna right. just sit here. Right. It's my tip, right. No, right. right? They wanted me to have you it. You ain't still no, it. Say, and I just knew I was not gonna get it, boy. When I got that letter in, and I got this shit, boy, I right. really fell to my knees like. Yeah. Nigga, I got back pay and everything. Well, nigga, like, like you can't support. nobody nigga. take it away. Well, so wait a minute, can't nobody take it away. Where were you working at? Where you could get a tip? Work, I was working at the casino, but see, oh, out okay. here, you know how California make their own rules for everything. That's why I love it, nigga. The weather and the weed. Plus, they just <laughs> find loopholes yeah. for everything. Every, everything. Like it's not supposed to be casinos everything. out here, but they bring in a corporation. Yeah. So it's the corporation's yeah. money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I was working for corporations. So I'm literally oh. like, say it's a blackjack table, nigga. I'm sitting on C one. <laughs> I got the chips covered, nigga. I'm the money bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So when y'all win, I'm handing the money to the dealer to hand out. If y'all lose, she get the money, hand it to me. I put it up. So I'm not supposed to take tips because I'm dealing with money. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The whole time. But I ain't give a fuck out. They, they used to give me everything. <laughs> nigga, I'm talking about fuck. weed, tips, nigga, food. Nigga, I didn't turn down shit. I don't turn down shit but my collar. Nigga, I know what that. you got for me? <laughs> Say, I was winning around that bitch, but Damn. I got caught. But I ain't give a fuck. I didn't. Uh, but <laughs> I got caught. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. And you got your unemployment and backpack. So Damn, look at God. Say, I'm I'm I swear. Hey, Nisha. You you started doing something what, what I think is dope. You did it last night too. Is the selfie yeah. comedy jam? Selfie comedy jam. Yes. How how you came up with that? Man, what what made you do that? I was so motherfucking high off of edible one day, <laughs> and I was at uh, I was at Corey Bell show. Matter of fact, she do a Monday night. Shout out to Corey Bell. I'm, the edible just light my ass up, and, and this is a regular room. It's like a lounge, or like a a super bar, ultra lounge. Mm-hmm. So it ain't no comedy club or nothing. And I just was like. I'm going to do a show with the audience behind me lit up. Because I wanted to do like a 10-minute set and just do for content, mm. like film the whole thing. Like yeah. That. And then I ran about my guy. He was like, I don't get it. He was like, why? I was like, I said, just picture it, though. It ain't going to make sense. Just picture it. Right. He was like, mm, why would you turn your back to the audience? I said, it's for content. It's for my social media followers. It's for them, not them. You got to see it. And Sometimes he, you can't explain it. You yeah, just got to do and it. And I couldn't. Yeah. I just had to do it. He was like, oh, that shit is mm-hmm. dope. And I'm like... Yes, I want. So I ran about my agency, so because I wanted them to film it. Uh-huh. I said, "We just got to film it." Somebody go steal it. He was like, "We can film." It. He said, "Just start doing it at the end of your show. Just start doing it. Just start doing it. Just start mm-hmm. popping it out, mm-hmm. and that way build up to your special." So we really are filming uh, the special, like that's gonna be half and half. It's gonna be half regular stand up, and it's gonna be half me looking at the camera with the eyes behind me. So oh, that's it's fire. Be, so I thought I'm you so were gonna edit them all together yeah. and just have it so, like. Yeah, yeah. It, so that's what it seemed like. People think like yeah, I'm doing it myself for real because that's what it's supposed uh, to seem like. But you could incorporate yeah, in between I'm the pop jokes. That shit yeah. in that too. Now here, but, yeah. he, now here's a here's a note that I'm gonna give you that you didn't ask for. <laughs> I like the selfie so much that I don't like it when you turn your back to the to the camera. Oh yeah! You said now. I know you're doing that to connect with the audience. Yeah, I just, but I need to stay. You need to focused stay focused on the, on the lip because oh, I want good. I want to see your yeah, face yeah. when you're doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and I definitely be talking to these motherfuckers. I can't like. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's, okay. it's weird too because you do have these motherfuckers back, but. I also lead them up like, all right, y'all, this over y'all, the audience, you know, so I have to kind of let them know y'all just It's here. good. They that participate good with you. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gave a good tip like on that. Google. He want to see your face some more. Yeah, so I have to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all forgot Raven Simone. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He like, stop turning your face. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to see but, you. Yeah, so I, I, do, I do have to kind of just stay... You know, focus. And I be trying, but it be hard because I'm going to be right there. Yeah, I call it a magic. I call it a magic. That's a dope idea. But for the actual special, though, it will be straight to the camera. It It, ain't going to be no. But she have to make sure they get, that she can keep their attention because her ass is so... (laughs) Huge. Oh, well, they looking. They pay attention. That's, that's, the, that's the best part of the no, audience part. Like, like, but the good thing, good from the front and the back, bitch, <laughs> in these hoes. So, this is, I think here's the key to that also is to help. I know what you're saying. The, I think the help with that is instead of you looking back, 
really talk to because you could see the people in the crowd in mm-hmm. your camera. Yeah. So to fight that urge, like pick out the niggas, like focus mm-hmm. on like you FaceTiming mm-hmm. with somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you got to treat it more like a FaceTime. Yeah. Then I know they behind me right. and I can reach out and touch them if I want to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That yeah. Would be good if it was a screen so you can really see. I know. I know. Yeah. That's what the, the ultimate goal is. Meet right. you somewhere with a motherfucking yeah. screen. Yeah. Like and that's gonna be, be like, th- super yeah. dope. Right. So uh, yeah, it's coming. I, I plan on doing a lot with it, and then uh, yeah. That's so I just want motherfuckers to let me get the shit off <laughs> before I see, start seeing motherfuckers doing it because it's like, damn, oh, they, they can they I get it off? They about the jacket. They about the jacket. Girl, you better hear it. I know. Yeah. So we're filming in October though. We're filming in October. So we literally next month, y'all. Yeah, next month. Like just give me a minute because the thing is too because we're actually filming it for. Tubi, so we'll be on Tubi. Oh, good. Congratulations. Hey, yeah. I was thinking about putting some Let's shit on go. Tubi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we gonna film it for Tubi, but what I would like to do is film mine first and then do a special host. Like, if it do well, mm-hmm. Tubi will keep fucking with you. Um, then I host, and then the comments can come do they set. And right. like, let, I don't mind what fuck's right. doing, but y'all just gotta let me get this shit off. Let me yeah. get in the dough. Let me get in the dough, and then yeah. we doing so. I'm hosting, and I'm doing then the comics. They gotta come do they set. That's good. The same dope. way. So That's if they, dope. you know, so. I was just thinking. I just went to New York. And my homeboy Lee was with me. And so we was filming my stand-up sets because I was at a bunch of different clubs performing. Mm-hmm. So we was filming. And I was like, y'all going to just cut this shit together because we yep, got, yep, yep. you know what I'm saying? I was That's like, I'm going to just cut it together yeah. and put the shit on YouTube as like a little mini special. Yeah. Because people don't even know. I just started posting my stand-up clips. Yeah. And it's all like crowd work for the most part. Yeah. Nobody's really seen like my stand-up stand-up. Mm-hmm. But basically, I'm getting to it because I think it's great that you posted your shit soon like filming it quick yeah. you know what i'm saying because niggas will steal your shit yeah. boy it's so fast they people yeah. forget they steal your shit they'll do it in front of you yep like, oh nigga, my god i hate that that happened and i'm like me. i know damn well ain't nobody think of this shit for real yeah. for, because i was really like it i was so high y'all and it was, it was like the best idea ever and i wasn't even gonna tell nobody because i was like they're gonna steal as soon as i tell them but you told so i told somebody? i told my guy yes, okay. Okay. i told my guy and then i told my agency because i wanted them to film it mm-hmm. i was like y'all have to film me we gotta do this right away and then he was like, "Nah, just start popping them out." So, so how you got Tubi on board? Two, that, like, y'all. Oh yeah, I got some people. Okay. Uh, <laughs> got some people that know some people. Yeah, okay. But did they? But did you already have like a proof of concept? Like they seen your Instagram video first, and uh, then they was like, "We, we have some." Um, the the guy I'm working with, he has pitched the few ideas, so they already are interested in what he has to do. So he picked me to do be, do one of his motherfucking be one of his. Shows right. to produce. Got gotcha. you. So, so yeah. So that's fire. That's good no, shit. that's fire. No, I, I love it. To be the new Netflix, mm-hmm. they just start putting them good movies on there now. Mm-hmm. Cause I remember it used to be like all oh, like yes. crazy shit. I'm uh-huh. like, come on yeah. now, to be. Yeah. But they really have like all the good movies on there now. Plus the and independent films. Plus the you know. Mm-hmm. So it's and it's free. Mm-hmm. And it's free. So motherfuckers gonna fuck uh-huh. with it. Yeah. And uh, I, you just need somewhere people stream. I, I could have put it on YouTube. You know, I could have. You know, motherfuckers just have to. See the shit. So that's I really, it. The good thing about it, Tubi too is like, hopefully, I'm hoping it'll like pop up on the home page. Cause you know, if the special yeah. pop up on on the home page, then that's more clicks. Yeah. You know, more potential for more clicks. Yeah. So now nah, I think it's great, man. We were just talking about Tubi on another podcast. Yeah. I might throw my shit on Tubi. Tubi. You know, who I'm gives a fuck? With Tubi. Uh, do y'all write TV shows? Are y'all writing? Like, what are y'all doing to create? Or are y'all just solely focusing on stand up? I have not written anything for TV shows, so no. Mm. no. Is there any urge for y'all to I do that? I have it written. is. I just need a, a, a book or something or a YouTube tutorial or something. You know, but I have the ideas, but just to like write out a script, an actual script for mm-hmm. a show. The I, structure. Yeah, I need to kind of. Yeah, you kind of need, kinda, help. Kinda need help. Yeah. Like, yeah. You got the jokes and we yeah. know what we want to talk about, but you, you know, need a little help. But yeah, I had, well, um, Doughboy actually wrote a script, I mean, well, a show for me, but um, I did. It's not like I wrote it, but I cre- I, I created it, and mm-hmm. so I shot a season of it. Um, oh, dope. Show that I created, so now I'm shopping it actually because it's oh, a season good. of it done, yeah. and it's about comedy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's I love um, it. it's called a shot of jokes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so wow, I have, that's um, cute. Yep, okay. and so I have comedians, and basically I'm asking them stuff about comedy. It's how comedy is trivia. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you got uh-huh. the buzz of life, family feud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, I love it. If you get it wrong, you got to take a shot. So you yeah. basically just watching people fucking go downhill. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. Yeah. Cause if they get it wrong, the other two got to take a shot. And it's it's it's, it's crazy. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm not. Uh, uh, I've I've taken a few classes over at Second City to write, but okay. I just, that's just not my thing. But I am writing my book um, that I'm hoping hoping to be out by my birthday, November the 10th. Right. It's called You Think It's a Joke. 
I like nice. that. Nice. Yeah. You think, think it's, it's a, a joke? joke. Okay. Yeah. I like it. What the fuck is that? Because my mother used to me. always tell me, she was like, you think it's a joke. And I knew she was about to beat my ass. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she say, right. Beat my ass, she said, you think it's a joke, huh? Yeah, okay. young mama, my people. Why? You don't think fat me greasy? <laughs> you don't think I, they'll go in, nigga. If y'all want a good, if y'all want to know the, like the structure of like how to write a show, um, it's a uh, app called uh, Master Masterclass. Y'all heard of Masterclass? Mm-hmm. It's a, it's kind of expensive. Yeah, it is. Um, wait, but wait, the app costs. The app. Mm-hmm. It's called Masterclass. The app. Yeah, the app costs. It's expensive, but. They got some of the biggest names in entertainment and whatever the fuck you thinking about doing. Real mm-hmm. estate, all that type of shit, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Issa Rae has a course on there. And mm-hmm. she's saying like how to go about writing a show, pitching mm-hmm. a show. Mm-hmm. And I remember I watched it. It was during the pandemic, matter of fact. Um, so there are those different like YouTube tutorials and type shit like that too. But masterclass is, is a good thing too. Or, you know, but the more you write, the better you go get. Cause you write and then you get feedback and mm-hmm. you know, from the right people and they'll teach you how to do structure and mm-hmm. shit like that. And yeah. how care to art story art. Yeah. I, I said all of that because, you know, I've seen, like I said, I haven't seen Sherelle stand up. I, I met her from podcast, but seeing y'all two standups is like, y'all are y'all own show. Like I'm like I'm saying like she be my wife on a show. Mm-hmm. She is the show. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You are the Roseanne. You you are the you see what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. are y'all and that's for both of y'all though. I know that for a fact. Like so that's why I was saying like that's a skill set I feel like yeah. that could be useful for y'all right. because it's only going to help open more doors for y'all and for y'all like career trajectory. Mm-hmm. Where it's like you're not a work for hire. More so, it's like no, I'm the ball. Like this, my shit. Yeah. Now it's yes. all, now we all got to do those type of shows to build your way. I did it. You right. know what I'm saying? It's right. like being on certain shows, playing the best friend, playing the wife, the girlfriend, whatever the fuck. But ultimately, mm-hmm. because I know y'all skill set, yes. it's like I want to see the Just Need show. I yes. want to see. Precious, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, Precious Hall, little, pre- <laughs> like, and the little, little, little Precious, yeah, little Precious. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That didn't sound right, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, so that that's why I brought. <laughs> That's Look, why I brought that up. Don't count me out now. No, I ain't count you out. No, I ain't count. Don't count me out. No, I ain't counting you out. I ain't counting you out. We want to see the Miss Sherelle show. No, that's right. We want to see the. That's right. We want to see the Miss Sherelle show too. So that's why I was just planting that seed in y'all mind, and, and so y'all know oh, yeah. that the importance mm. behind it. So it's like now you kind of have more like uh, control mm-hmm. over like the yeah. next steps, you know, in y'all career or whatever like that. So I, love you, that. Yeah, I had a producer. Shout out to Christopher Nolan. A lot of people know him. He uh, he said the exact same thing you're saying now. He's a director and producer, uh, uh, works with BET, have a lot of TV shows out there and stuff. He's from Chicago. I about y'all to say, might I- know his brother said Nolan is out here. But yeah, he said the same thing. He's like, sure, you really need to start writing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. that's like a. I mean, look at Quinta Brunson. That's yeah. Abbott Elementary. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. For I all, love that she show too. All, yeah, yeah, all case and purposes, she should have just been the best friend on a TV show somewhere. Mm-hmm. But because she wrote it, mm-hmm. created that thing. Mm-hmm. There you have it. Nice. Now she went in yeah. awards and yeah. she got Abbott Elementary, mm-hmm. and, right. and that's mm-hmm. damn. That's, that's yeah. pound for pound the most talked about comedy. Yeah. On TV. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I said all of that to say I believe in y'all. Come on. Okay. You're so okay. No, shout out to you, Justin. We Justin be coming through, too. y'all, to my little open mic. <laughs> you know, people don't even do open mics no more, but I started doing it because I wanted to get my reps in, you know, and so I really wasn't expecting a lot, but like a lot of people come through Where and it really right. it's on Tuesdays mm-hmm. out here. Bitch, I ain't say nothing. Uh, <laughs> 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 bitch, you know you don't be out here. You be you in and out. I come in. I come yeah. in, but I try I to stay sometimes Monday, there. Tuesday I do Corey podcast. Yeah. You know, okay. I, if I if I'm oh, making you know it a what? thing, yeah, I you stay, should but come. Like, out in the valley too, so you can what time it starts? Five. It's five to ten. So you can come anytime. You come before your show. Five PM. But people sign up before, you know, and it's it's really cool, y'all. Like yeah. and he came and who McFonz, yeah, Alfonso Alfons, McCulloch, yeah. yeah, and a lot of people be coming through. DC Irvin came through yeah. last, like it'd it be a cool last crowd, okay. and everybody just kind of helping each other, yep, because it's really smart. It's like one of them little Def Jam rooms, you know, it's super mm-hmm. smiling. Okay. Intimate. It's called but flashback, we need that. Like, and you know, we, I love it. And yeah. this is this is what I haven't said. We actually about to start recording people's sets in there. Oh, good. So me and Dante, people that want their shit recorded, so right. we gonna start recording it. Mm-hmm. 4K cameras, That's be good. so people and we go call it. 
trap mic comedy. Right. And, okay. Yeah, yeah. And so we gonna start having that. So like comedians that if y'all want material, shit to post online and shit like that, yeah. we go record it and then we gonna have people put the captions on it. And uh, and we gonna start posting that. So you don't yeah. have that name no. locked down. You need to go on here. Oh, we do. We get off of here. Oh, we got the. Oh, we already got the Instagram and shit set up. Trap, yeah, uh, trap my comedy. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that's dope. Cause that's the spot. Shit. That's the spot for real. Y'all, I'm so it's so country. Cause y'all know I'm hosting. So like, you supposed to wait till people finish and give them tags. I'm like, start it, do it. Like we in there. Like it's Taco uh, Tuesday, it. but we eating soul food. Nigga. <laughs> yeah. We got yeah, candy spreads. They got like, food in there. They got food. They got pizza. They got. You can smoke. You know. Saying, they got if you don't want to burn oh, something, nice. we got the oh, house yeah. Like it's okay. really a cool ass environment where you can just work your shit. And, and it's called flashback. It's it's called yeah. the name of the venue is flashback. Yeah. It is mm-hmm. in Van Nuys. But yeah, but when we start posting the content, it's gonna be on the trap mic comedy. That shit That's gonna be dope. Yeah. I really can tell the difference from doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From doing it third and then hitting the stage. Like I really can tell oh, the difference. That's dope. And so yeah. I'm definitely Precious a beast out here, yo. Precious don't be doing nothing but killing out here. Okay, so hold on, I got a couple, but hold on, so uh body image how do y'all feel women like do y'all like how 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 important is y'all body image when it comes to hollywood like do y'all feel like i have to be a certain size i have to maybe show certain amount on social media or or what do y'all have that in y'all or do y'all not care about none of that? I don't care about Hollywood. I care about me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? When I saw more, myself more on that stage, I'm like, like bitch, you person. is big, ho. It's like you know, it's a certain <laughs> size that you want yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes it sneak up on you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're like, damn, yeah. I was just doing good. And now mm-hmm. I'm up here swollen a hole, like you know what yeah. I'm saying. So Biggest it's like I face. need to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying. I need to feel comfortable in my shit. If I'm steady pulling shit down, pulling yep. shit up, I don't got too big, or these clothes don't got too small. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> not one of two. Yes. But um, I think too because we not like. Because I'm not like an actress who's trying to be in front of the camera, and I know they give you another 10, but I do want to do that. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I don't care about that. It's not like gotcha. I got to be exactly what the doctor say you're supposed to be at this height. I don't give a fuck. I care about how I look in certain shit. Like, okay, mm-hmm. they look cool. Yeah. Can I fuck the grandma? Can I fuck the grandma? I like but, uh, me. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. like me. I definitely uh, do care. I've been caring <laughs> yeah. a lot more mm-hmm. lately. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't want to be the fat friend. Right. Like, cause that, that, I'm gonna be the fat funny friend, and they're just yeah. gonna have me even all, all the big bitch friend roles. And I'm like, no, that's not what I want. But also, I definitely want to be comfortable on stage. Yes. So you know, I do try to do what I gotta do to get me. To, you know, because people just sitting there looking at you, bitch. Even though yeah. you're just talking and making them laugh, they just they got all the time in the world to just pick a bitch apart. Hello. You know what I'm mm. So yeah, I, you I hate make to sure be your shit for is me. together. Mm-hmm. I'm, it's personal. I I do care because I feel better. If mm-hmm. I'm working out and I'm losing weight and I'm looking and I can see it and I can feel it in my clothes, it, make it makes good. me feel so good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now I'm able to walk past the mirror and shit in the house like, ah, <laughs> you know, step back, look at it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I used to run past that motherfucker so fast. <laughs> Flip it around. Oh my God, I run no past more. it so fast, you know, <laughs> but now it's just like, man, I need that. I need that feeling of leaving knowing I'm sweating and shit because I just got it in. Because now I can run on the treadmill. Mm. For nice. 20 minutes, I couldn't. Nice. Even, I never could run on a treadmill for 20 hmm. minutes. I used to do a, a minute and Damn, be yeah. done. <laughs> Fuck this gym. But, but that's what I do. I run a minute, walk a minute, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm like, about to say. Yeah, you when you say done, do you mean you start to walk and then you go back to running, or you were just like, done? Oh, done? I'm, I, oh. I, I used to be done. Like fuck oh. this gym. I'm yeah, leaving the gym. Blue, right? I <laughs> would leave the gym. I will be like, okay, that's good enough for today, mm-hmm. and I will leave. But now I could just run 20 minutes. Nice. Yeah, I started doing it by doing Runyon Canyon. Like I would run the whole all the way down and then i would time myself and i'm like if i can do this here i could do this on a treadmill Mm -hmm. yeah i would jog down i'm walking up that bitch but i would jog down i'm not like i'm doing i ain't ready to die die you know like walking up i'll be dead so many times going up that breathing the fuck you bitch when you smoke too bitch that breathe i used to be like how are they doing this (laughs) nigga i'm dead but yeah, you start controlling their breathing. Shit. <laughs> that part. Try to breathe through your nose. Try yeah, to keep your mouth closed. I'll be That's what I miss like about the a mask. fat bitch up uh, there. The when mask. we had a mask, because, you know, I could be out of breath without nobody knowing. Yes. I could breathe with my mouth open. Not me. So I still that want my mask be puffing, to the gym. Open and be- Nigga, my hands on my belt. Man. Woo, nigga, like... <laughs> 
in the airport people, too, I put my mask on because I always got to run to the flight. It's so embarrassing <laughs> running in the airport. You be so tired. Why are you always oh. running? You always late for your yes. flight? Oh, well. You know, yeah, it's just a, I don't know. I be trying to get better, but it's just. You are getting better. You looking good. Like you been on your yes. shit. Oh, thank you. Bitch, I really you am good. trying, yeah. y'all. To, so not trying, baby. Remove those. trying. Yeah, you doing yeah. it. You inspired me with that yeah. jump rope, bitch. I was in the gym. I tried, bitch. Uh-uh. Yeah. I'm not a jump <laughs> rope. Fuck that jump rope. Yeah, you know, you have to work your way up just like the You have to do a little bit of that jump rope. Oh, for real. She was talking about something. So you, you do, you jump too wide. The real jump high as fuck. You like, jump bitch, high. Like, I'm just like, like and he's just low. turning that bitch like. That's how you gotta do it. You yeah. gotta do like a box. Yeah. 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 Sherelle jumps high and slow. Uh, you jump, like, you jump like a four year old. That's arms, how my, that's yeah. how my daughter be her jumping. Her whole arms go around like this. I said no. Cause my arms be tired, bitch. They tired. <laughs> they they wild. can't. That's just too much. I was like, Mm-mm. that shit is kind of important. Cause when I was doing rush hour, that's when I first started really working out. Because I was like, I have to be in leading man shape, mm-hmm. right? I have to at least yeah. look like if I have to fight somebody, I could win. I at least okay. have a shot at it. Yeah. But when I did MacGyver. I felt I fell back some because I was like I'm just the best friend. I was like shit don't matter. But now I I make it my duty. So I still work out, but I I, I want to make sure that I'm at least in like leading man distance. Like mm-hmm. if they not say, too far, not too far. So mm-hmm. if they say Justin, we want you to be the lead of this TV show. Three okay, weeks away. Three you weeks. Can, <laughs> you can be written. That's, yeah. that's a written. You know, that's true depends shit. on the the part you're going for because I don't that's think true. it really matter no more. I'm seeing all different type of sizes on you know TV that's true. now. That's like true. they. They letting them on that baby. That's okay? true. Well, I'm, I'm trying to be on some, uh, you know, I ain't trying to be Michael <laughs> B. Jordan, but you know, I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to be like Justin. I'm trying to be Justin. Mm-hmm. That's it. Don't, so remove the trying. Mm-hmm. Just be I, Justin. I am Justin. I there am somebody. Rise up, King. I'm yeah. glad you told Grand me. Grand Rising, King. Rise, rise, rise all the way up. Grand Rising. Rise all the way up, King. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, hold on. This is the last thing. Somebody. This is the last thing. 50 Cent hitting that girl in the head with that Man, microphone. I wish it was me. <laughs> Man. Ooh, Fuck. Man. I wish I was at that concert. Bust me in the head. <laughs> I'm getting Woo. Hey. Man. Hey. Man, it's just, walking woo, that I'm bitch. like, damn, what was he mad about too? Because she is did fucked they, up. Did they ever figure out? Because yeah, he put a gas in her head. Yeah, yeah. Did they ever figure out what he was mad at? Everything. They said the sound the system. Mic, the mic, mic didn't work. Yeah, the mic was messing up the whole show. I guess. And so he, why you throw it at the sound, nigga? Right. I don't <laughs> know. Audience, he bust up, up and that's not gonna heal. Correctly, oh, yeah. that ga- oh, yeah. that gas. But she about to have so much money. That's just why I'm get like, some I cosmetic wish, surgery. I was, I wish I was on a plane with Mike Tyson when he hit that motherfucker. Like, I be wishing I be that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I just need a little blessing. You know? Man, I don't yeah. want those type of blessings. I be just wanting a I'll truck of money. I'm about to, to say, turn be, over. be careful what you ask right. for. I know you're joking. I want a but... truck of money to turn over and some shit just fall on my. In a the black eye or a gash in my head. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, she paid. Damn, yeah, man. He is paid, paid. I want to say I appreciate y'all, man. You know, this is the second time where I've had all women on the show. It's I'm all, it was dope. It was, it's always my favorite, actually. As it should be. Um, yes. so I, cold. I, I know. So <laughs> I, I thank y'all. What, where, where they can find y'all at? What y'all socials? What y'all got coming up? Anything to look out for? Let them know. Oh, you want me to go for it? Okay. Hey, y'all. Okay, y'all can just follow me on Instagram, MZ underscore Sherelle One, on Facebook, everything else, Sherelle Pierce. Um, Chicago, I'm excited. I will be performing at the Chicago Laugh Factory on the 8th. Okay, showtime at 930. And then on Eminem, which is a Sunday, that's on the, uh, what is that, the 10th? So I'll be on the uh, Laugh Factory at the eighth and the tenth, and Creative Hustles. Jay hey. Davis. Me, 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 me. I will be shooting my fifteen minute special on two, oh, baby. Okay, okay, let's September go. September the twenty fourth. Okay. okay, dope lineup. So I, I am very thankful and grateful for Jay Davis, Rodney Perry giving me this opportunity. So uh, Chicago, we about to be lit all September because I'm gonna be there for a while. I'm hitting all the sta- open mics. Baby, it's going down. Go. That's what's up. Y'all just follow me, Precious Hall Comedy, on these hoes podcasts every Wednesday. Um, I got some shit coming up, but just look on my Instagram, y'all. There's some shows and shit coming, so <laughs> fuck with me. That's what's fuck up. With, fuck with your girl. <laughs> oh, and shout out to Jay Davis uh, for the Creative Hustle special. Season one is out right now on Tubi. I'm on season one, so y'all can check that out. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, great. It's, it's, it's highlighting Chicago comics and music artists. It's a super dope show on um, Tubi. So Creative Hustle. 
Uh, check that out. Season two, they filming on the 24th. Y'all can follow me on everything. Just needs J-U-S-T-N-E-S-H-B. On the lookout for the Selfie Comedy Jam, y'all. We are filming in October. Yes. It will be on Tubi, but I will be documenting the whole journey. So I do have some shows coming up. I'll be in Milwaukee on the 21st of September. Nice. St. Louis and Indiana in, in, in Indianapolis in October. Mm-hmm. So check my page for the date. Chicago, y'all already know I'm at uh, Promontory September 13th for the Battle of the DJs comedy night. It's a 90s party. It's my show I produce monthly. So make nice. sure y'all pull up to that. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just uh follow me on everything. And uh my my Facebook is Shadow Band. So if y'all can go in there telling people to uh release me. <laughs> so, uh, you, post, you post one uh Mississippi Molly Watt video with graphics on it. Now your whole shit shut down. Uh, and, so, be on there, girl. Look. Yeah. Uh, hey man, phenomenal episode as I knew it would be. Thank y'all for coming through. Uh, hey, make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment. Uh, yeah, man, Justin Hires, follow me on all platforms. And if anybody was offended by anything that we said today, just remember one thing: fuck, fuck, yo. fuck yo your feelings, feelings. bitch. Oh. Shout out to Quail your sensitive bitch, <laughs> your crybaby ass bitch. Okay. Okay. Soft ass hoe.